Is it the right time to buy or sell Apple stock? Let's delve deeper into Apple in this video. Our initial report was released on our website on Monday, April 15th, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with a more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay updated to make informed decisions that could impact your investments. Improve your trading strategies with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Since April 15, 2024, our system has identified Apple as a sell candidate with a score of Niger's 2.41. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. We will closely monitor this evaluation to observe its development in the upcoming days. The stock is currently in a declining trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decrease. Over the next three months, the stock is expected to decrease by a 12.45%, with a possible return ranging between another 15.55% and a 10.69%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected 1.68% change over the next year, with a potential return between minus 1.19% and 17.29%. This equates to a price range of $170.64 to $254 after one year. Our latest update on Apple reveals that the stock has been downgraded from a buy candidate to a sell candidate after Monday's trading session. The Apple stock price experienced a decline of minus 2.19% on Monday, dropping from 176.55 cents to 172.69. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated by 2.39%, ranging from a low of 172.50 to a high of 176.63. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 1.56% gain in price, with a decrease in trading volume by 928 million shares on the last day, totaling 73 million shares traded, traded at approximately $12.62 billion. Looking back at the past 52 weeks, the stock reached its highest price at $199.62 and its lowest at $162.82. Currently, the price stands 13.49% below the 52-week high, equivalent to 26.93 theme and 24.35% lower than the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when it reached $228.26. Analyst ratings Itau BBA gave AAPL an underperformed grade with a hold action on Monday, April 15, 2024. Piper Sandler gave AAPL a neutral grade with a hold action on Tuesday, April 9, 2024. Loop Capital Markets gave AAPL a hold grade with a hold action on Monday, April 1, 2024. UBS gave APL an underperform grade with a hold action on Thursday, March 28, 2024. Wedbush gave APL a buy grade with a hold action on Thursday, March 28, 2024. Analysts have assigned Apple stock a resounding strong buy rating. They have marked the P.E. ratio and price-to-book ratio as strong buy. In terms of return on investment, the analysts have also given the stock a strong recommendation to buy. Apple's stock signals are showing interesting trends. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom on Wednesday, April 10, 2024, resulting in a 2.93% increase. The momentum suggests further growth until a new peak pivot is identified. In addition, a buy signal is present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, there are also negative signals that could impact short-term progress. The short-term moving average signals a buy, but the long-term average implies a general sell. This indicates a negative forecast for the stock since the long-term average surpasses the short-term. Resistance is expected at $173.06 from the long-term moving average, while support can be found at $171.39 from the short-term average. Breaking through the long-term average would signal a buy, while dropping below the short-term average would strengthen the sell signal. Reduced volume, alongside price decline during the last trading day, mitigates overall risk as volume typically follows price trends.
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, buy signal four days ago, Bollinger, buy signal 27 days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal six days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal two days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 52 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal four days ago, the long-term moving average, sell signal 43 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 35 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. Apple's support is at a 172.62 backed by accumulated volume. This level presents a potential buying opportunity, as a positive reaction is likely when the support is tested. Apple's stock typically exhibits controlled movements with good liquidity, resulting in a low level of risk. In the past day, the stock fluctuated by 4 one thirds equivalent to 2.39%. Over the last week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 2.27%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Apple, let's review some key fundamental data. First, we have the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio, which compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. This P.E. ratio falls within the range typically seen in established companies with consistent revenue streams. Looking ahead, Apple's Q1 2024 earnings report is scheduled for May 2, 2024. Analysts, consensus estimates stand at $1.50 per share. These figures can significantly influence stock prices, so it's essential to monitor them closely. Let's look at some key day trading levels for Apple. If Apple is on an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch is at $176.55. Consider waiting for a breakthrough at this level before making a move. Existing shareholders might find this level suitable for swing trading. On the flip side, Apple's initial support level is at $172.62. Should this support hold, it could serve as a strategic entry point with potential for a bounce back. The combined average rating for Apple from multiple analyst sources is a strong buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. The most recent insider trades were conducted by Williams Jeffrey E., involving the purchase and sale of 280,765 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of 21.257. In total, insiders bought 2,038,134 shares and sold 3,692,768 ,6 shares in the last 100 trades. We are giving a negative evaluation for this stock, and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set for it. Is Apple stock a good buy? Apple currently shows several negative signals indicating potential weakness in the near future. Our analysis suggests a negative outlook for this stock with a downgrade from buy to sell candidate due to technical weaknesses. Despite this, our systems indicate that the current price of Apple stock is undervalued based on recent volatility and movements. Looking ahead to trading on Tuesday, April 16th, we anticipate Apple to open up at Waller 25 and start trading at 173.94. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It's crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Remember not to rely solely on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. By using the provided information, you accept responsibility for your own investment actions. Providing our current analysis on this stock. Share your views in the comments. What's your target price? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Wishing you success in your trades and a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.